fuck, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my dad. Man, hey, man. Say, man. Check it, man. We got two. I, I, where you guys from? India? Did you say Indianapolis? Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, man. We're we the got, car racing. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. We got my fast like that. <laughs> hold up, hold up. We got mm-hmm. Truly and Rockstar in here, man. How y'all yeah, doing yeah, today, yeah. man? Man, we blessed, man. Man, thank y'all for coming down to Texas, for man. For sure, yeah. Well, I tell you, man, uh, you guys, Iconic Films? Yes, sir. I mean, you guys, uh, do you, can you really get down? Definitely with mm-hmm. the best of them. We some of the best of them. Man, so and, and, and and so y'all got so many different moving parts to you guys, man. And <laughs> and, 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 and it has to be something to where it has to be a chemistry to even be able to stay together like y'all right. have. How yeah. many years have it been? Mm. Uh man, twenty years. We got nah. twenty plus yeah. in it. Yeah. Twenty yeah. years? Yeah. yeah. How old are y'all? Twenty something? Like, <laughs> yeah, but I mean we've known each other since we was thirteen, though. Yeah. You know oh, okay. what I'm saying? So yeah, we But when did y'all deep. start the journey to Shit. become man, Nappyville? Been, na- na- Nappyville? The Nappyville journey started when we probably we say twelve years ago, something mm-hmm. like that. About that. But uh we was doing it before that, but we just really started going crazy like twelve years ago. And is this what you always wanted to do when you were kids? The plan A, plan to Z. It ain't no other plan. This is what we do. This mm-hmm. is the only thing we gonna do. How did you get into the business? <laughs> I mean, like from growing up, just um, always hearing music and, and just knowing that this is, cause like we grew up around um, Indiana and that's where Michael Jackson was from. And I mm-hmm. consider him the greatest musician and entertainer of all time and, and on any level. You know what I mean? He grew up a couple blocks away, so that's all we ever wanted to do anyway. Mm. Baby face. Yeah. I mean, what? There's, a, there's yeah. a lot of folk from now. Wimple Bill, baby face. Oh, come on. You now. got that Wimple Bill? <laughs> yeah. That yes, one sir. right there. The nigga that say, I'll, I'll buy your clothes, I'll, I'll pay yeah. your rent, and all cook that. your dinner too. Soon as I get home from work, <laughs> that nigga? They got some of those out there. See, I like that one. <laughs> what? I like that oh. one. I like that one. <laughs> Go ahead and turn that on for him. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man, no man, that's a lot. That's but, a lot. That's a but lot. who put the first camera in your hand? Mm. Oh man, we was if doing, y'all remember, we was doing stuff at school. Like we was getting famous at school from yeah. doing like you know like little movies and stuff. We be after school making movies and making little music videos and stuff like that along with our music. You know but what who mean? bought you that first camera, though? Oh, we bought that. Oh, you bought it yourself. Yeah, what camera yeah. was it? Oh, it was okay. a little Canon house little camera. Little video. Yeah, a little camera. <laughs> Boy, that's that's what right. you're thinking. Oh, yeah. now, then when we took the house camera out, then we put one of them big ones you had to put on your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things didn't change. But you oh, made really? it do what it's supposed to do back oh, we, then. We, exactly we, that. Hell yeah, we made it do what it's supposed <laughs> to do back then. <laughs> Shit. So you guys, man, uh, so just tell us a little bit about, you know, the, the town that you grew up in. Oh, like man. the town, just just coming up. I mean, you want to talk about Nap the town? town? Yeah, Nap Town. I want to hear from the Napa City, Nap Town, Nappyville. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. I mean, for forever it's been called Nap Town because it's sleepy town. Okay. You know what I mean. We don't walk that thing up. You hear me? Oh yeah. yeah? Yes, sir. They so might have to change the name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we already did. Yeah. It's, it's called Nappyville Nappy now. That's what everybody calls Y'all it. Y'all changed oh, the name. Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't want to do the Nap Town thing. Mm-hmm. That was. 90 talk, early 2000 talk. It's mm-hmm. Nappyville from here on Nappyville. out. Nappyville. Yeah. Okay. So who all of you guys work with? I, you know, it's, uh, you know, like, uh, as far as well, before I Before you get into that, I know you're going to get into that. I want to know how they got their names. Truly. Rockstar and, and Rockstar. Truly. Mm-mm. I'll let him go first. See, he starts smiling. Mine going to take a little longer. Go ahead. Well, I'm a rock star, baby. That's what I do. Uh, you know what I mean? Simply. I'll yeah, it's like simply. It, yeah. 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 yeah, he really is. So... That's his Explain name. what a rock star it, it makes does sense for him. I mean, so he's any up and all night that you, that you thinking doing Paint everything, everything. Hey, everything. fingernails, everything. All everything. That. Yeah. my fingernail polish didn't came off now. Make wow, you jumping, yeah, you jumping the crowd. You have a crowd sir? Oh, yeah. We've been doing this for a long time, like that though. Wow, wow. Yeah. Where everybody, I mean, Where's skinny jeans, all that. Believe that we started. Uh, a lot all of this. Don't take it yeah. there. <laughs> what did you say? I said, where's the eyeliner and all of that? Oh man, that's for the shows. Oh, he go all the way in. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's dope, man. And so, truly, yeah. truly, what's up? Okay, so look, when I first started making music, we used to go off the little uh, what's some things called karaoke things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I just rap over my favorite people's music all the time, and for some reason, 
I had like a liking for C Murder, you know what I mean? And they had all had the true, all that shit was true, yes, everything sir. true to the game. Yes, sir. And that was just like the best King thing. King George, that was yes, the, sir. The best thing ever <laughs> I ever heard in my life. So everybody started just calling me true all the time, you know what I mean? Because my, originally my rap name was something way different, but everybody's like true, 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 because they mm. was like, cause that's all I listened to. So then as I got a little older, a little female started putting their own little twist to it when I start turning into who I was. It's like, truly, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So then it just was just truly from now wow. on out. And that was, was like dope. high school on to now. See, so I thought about truly yours. You know, like when you sign a letter oh, and you yeah. say yeah. truly yours. people ask me, like, when they say, what That's is, what I think yeah, about. But they say something different, but like, nah, true, like, truly true. yours. And they're like, oh, you know what I mean? It's always like that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but yeah. true, true. Uh, KLC was on the show already, yeah. too, with uh, yeah. Peace by the Pound. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love that yeah. man. He's wow. been on here. Yeah. Yeah, I like it, man. I love yeah. I love the fact of how the, how on, the, how the music go, we man. We wrapped up his beats say, first. We went, hey, hey, we went through his, yeah, yeah. I, I got a copyrighted on YouTube dealing with him. Mm, nigga, yeah. I don't mind taking the copyright for a legend. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. I don't care. Like, that. Yeah. whatever, nigga. Don't monetize that. I just want it to be something that, I, that yeah. you know, we can remember, man. Because right. that's legacy, man. That's right. a legend. You know what I mean? For sure. So who's your favorite? Like, like, what inspired y'all to do music, though? I mean, just it just it just in us, man. Like, being from where we from, it's like, um, it's so much going on. It's only a few ways to get it out of you. You know what I mean? You can get it out in a violent way. You can get it out in an uh, athletic way. But we ain't, we ain't take that route. We got it out with just, you know what I mean, just talking and writing at all times and then turning it into music. Wow. Yeah. So do you guys feel like, uh, like I was going to ask you earlier, who, who, who all have you guys worked with? Because you guys been in the game a while. You can answer that one. Uh... I mean, we worked with a whole, whole. It's man, it's really I, easy to I, say. I who know you work with Boosie. Yeah, we oh, got us. Yeah. We got a sign with Boosie. Have you uh, ever worked with Triple Six Mafia? We worked with a couple of them. Okay, we, couple of uh, the one members. Of, one of they uh, main DJs. Uh, okay, DJ Black. Okay, he DJ Paul on the wall. Yeah, yeah. him and yeah. DJ Paul like this. Yeah, you know what I mean. He travel with them all the time. You know, he from Indianapolis. Okay, mm-hmm. how, uh. When you when you think about uh, collaborations, how important is it, how important is it to work with others in the industry, or does it matter? To me, to be real, um, I don't I don't necessarily think it matters musically, but you have to collab in business. You know what I mean? So, like, say if she's in the industry and she's doing so, I need to be doing. You know what I mean? We need to bridge these gaps and keep us all tied in. But musically, man, it's like about who meshes together. Mm-hmm. You don't just go get somebody because they hot. Cause your sound might, I, like your sound might not match a J Cole or a Drake or whoever you think is at the top. Mm-hmm. You might want to do a record with K Camp, and then y'all gonna make a hit because y'all blend together. You know what I mean? So right. collabing is it, it, you gotta do what makes sense. But business wise, I think you should collab with everybody because some if somebody has something to bring to you and you got something to bring to them. So have you ever worked with K Camp? Because I talked to this. A guy, Michael Montana, and he, yeah. he worked with K Camp. Nah, I, we ain't never uh, worked with him. I like his music. I you like his music? music all the time. What's yeah. mine working yeah, with yeah, him, but we haven't dope. worked with him yet. Yeah, how, many, how, how important is it to go through Atlanta? It's Joy. really important, man. I <laughs> think Atlanta's like Atlanta's like Egypt. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's where a nigga can be a nigga at the highest level, I think. You know what I mean? Straight up. Yeah. yeah and no matter what you do, shit. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people say it's very important to come through Texas as well. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, Houston, yeah, Dallas, yeah, come yeah, on, man. man. They say but, if, if you're in the industry, this has to be a stop. Mm-hmm. We figured that out just by coming through here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the love is crazy in Texas. It's, oh, it's organic. Because, like, some places you got to force yourself on the people. Texas, you ain't got to force yourself. No, no, mm-hmm. no. They want you, and you, you know what I mean? It's love. You right, know what I mean? Right. You feel yeah. it. You know Big what I mean? Love. Straight up. That's how you end up on Boss Talk 101. <laughs> That's how you, you know, yeah, stop playing. Well, I ain't wake it's up this morning knowing bro. I was going to be on Boss Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you hear now. Yeah. You hear now you what see, a boss Texas, talk. Texas really <laughs> shows true Southern hospitality out of all yeah. of the other yeah. states. I believe that. I mean, like, Texas is, like, truly hospitable. We was talking about that earlier today. Yeah, hospitable. Hospitable. Get out. Get out there, get out there, Miss Jamaica, hospitable. You know what I'm talking about? So, so when you guys, uh, um, what what did you expect to see coming to Texas this this trip? Mm. That hospitality. Oh yeah, yeah. how's it been working out for you? It's been right. working out lovely. That's you know? dope. Yeah. That's we, dope. We haven't been to Texas a whole lot. We've been here maybe just passing through. We've been down here maybe yeah. three or four times. Yeah, mm-hmm. for real. but this is probably the longest that we've been here. Yeah, like and been all over. 
we've we been, been all through. South, North, <laughs> Dallas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, we're like, living. Uh, Arlington. 75. Yeah. 635. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you want to come back. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. Definitely yeah. Definitely come play. playing, man. Yeah. yeah, we got something for you down yeah. here. Yeah. We got a lot down Charles here. Charleston showed us love. He took us all over this this thing, man. West Dallas. I mean, we didn't see a lot. in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, for listen. sure. This Texas, man. Everything yeah, big in Texas. That's oh, what everything is big in Texas. <laughs> hey, we've been seeing that. Too. So, yeah. so <laughs> when you when you think about um, just uh, music, where it's at today versus where it was when you guys first started off, yeah. moving from the CD era, moving yeah. into data streaming and yeah. all that, how have you guys been able to you know pretty much transfer into that uh, streaming uh, vibe? Man, you know what? It's a, you got to change uh, the way you think because like it's not the same. You can't just pull up to somebody and hand them a CD. So now you got to think, how do I get across to this complete stranger right here? So it's a hustler's game, and like anything that's hustle, I love. When you think about it, you you look at it. Um, there's a there's a dilemma in the music. Um, yeah. A million streams, uh, a million streams on Apple equates and to four thousand dollars. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's not a lot. No, mm-hmm. it's not. So how do we change the narrative? Okay, I, I mean, and, and that's, I don't know if anybody have asked you that question before, yeah. but I'm just thinking about how, cause there's so many people prop it up as if we yeah. making money. Yeah, yeah, nigga, see the rope, look at the gold, nigga, yeah, all right, or they lying though. Yeah, mm-hmm. they could be, or they mm-hmm. could not be. No, nah, they may like be in I the streets. Said, Most of these niggas in the streets. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, but you gotta have that, like I said, it's a hustler mentality. So you gotta just say, all right, you streaming my music a hundred uh, million times. But what else do I have for you now? You know exactly. what I mean? Once now the got merch. You. Now well, I gotta get you. If I if you like me, I gotta sell you this T-shirt that's for, right. for thirty dollars. That's right. So now I'm making three times the amount of a CD. That's and right. And if I can only get ten percent of y'all to do that, I'm making three million just off top. Wow. Straight wow. up. So I like that. I mean, that. that's how you gotta look at it. You gotta look at what else I can do to go along with it because, of, like you said, it's four thousand. What's that gonna do for anybody? You mm-hmm. gotta you, you gotta work it all. Yeah. Right. You gotta work your TikToks. You gotta yeah. work your YouTube. Yeah. You gotta stream your. You gotta put your videos out on your platform yeah. in order to capitalize yeah. off of your brand. Yeah. There are so many different things that you have to do in order to be this so-called independent artist. Yeah. Uh, when you tied to partnerships with YouTube and everybody else, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what you're doing when right. you yeah. when you're tying yourself up with these different entities in order to get yourself seen and uh, uh, appreciated by your fan base. Right. Yeah. Right? Definitely. So That's you guys... Um, show money, sponsorships, it's a lot of other the things. The show money and the sponsorship. COVID hit and it, yeah. it shook up the yeah. world when it yeah. came down to it, shows. Yeah. Uh, it showed a lot of niggas... Money and who didn't. A lot of no niggas wasn't able to mm-hmm. sustain, right? Ah, oh, man. We let go all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. And I think that's something you got to think about. Yeah. Um, I think what it's taken away from is... That face to face, people are not doing many face to face. It's virtual face to face. But I think people want the the face to face still. Mm-hmm. No, they do. Yeah. But a lot of people are people are so used to being behind you know mm-hmm. the phone or the camera right. and showing yeah. you their personality through social media instead of coming face to face. If that same person who show you their personality through social media see you face to face. It ain't it, the same. It ain't the same. It's a totally different <laughs> yeah. person. Yeah. Right, right. And then they had a filter. Exactly. You see know what I'm saying? I'm tired of and this. Had wow, that me. was you. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these people on these man, well, I, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of these people you don't even know who they are. Well, they I, are you, if you ever want to trip off some go on tagged because it's a platform called Tag. It's old school. That old school. And then, <laughs> like then a look at the, old. Look at the mm. it, it's gonna have a live. They on there just on their live, but they picture is not what you see when you hit the button. Oh, you hit the man. button and you see them like, damn. You like, damn. <laughs> I love it. I'd be showing it to my wife. I'd be like, oh, oh yeah, this is dope right <laughs> here. That's something you gotta smoke to and then look at that. <laughs> yeah, for real. So, so uh, wh- how's the music in the uh, in, in the Indianapolis area yeah. versus the music in, the, uh, in, say, the South Texas area? Yeah. How is that? Do, is it speed it up or is it? Cause we slow you know it down. What? Yeah, y'all slow it down, but I, I, we don't really speed it up too much. I would say it's a, a little bit of everything since it's in the Midwest. You got a lot of that South sound, you got a lot of East sound, and you got a lot of that West sound. So it just depends on that that artist because like nobody does. It's not like an official sound. Right. But it, when you mix it all together, I guess it kind of does give somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's, it's different. the middle of the map, so yeah. every, every, it's the crossovers of, of America. Yeah. So everybody, yeah. everybody come through there. You you might not be there for a long time, but, but like, you gonna drop something. But like they say you know about I mean? Texas, the support here is different. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if, if we was Texas artists, man, we'd probably be the biggest artists in the industry right now today. You know what I mean? But coming from there, they they ain't never seen it. They don't know 
how to accept it. Some people they do accept it now, but it's like they it took it took a little minute to figure out what it was even going on. Mm-hmm. Cause it was like getting hit by a semi truck the way you came through, you know what I mean? And and they just now coming too. So now it's like, okay. A lot of people there are making good, good music now. Right. Rock stars. But yeah. how is it hold on, how is it um the love there? Because I know <clears throat> what a lot of artists have a problem with is whatever city they're in, they have yeah. to leave and go somewhere else to receive the it love. It used to be like that. Rather than in their own city. But I can tell you this. Like when we do stuff at home, we pack it out. It's sold all the way out. So the love is a hundred percent there dope. from the people. Mm-hmm. So so what what like I, I said on this podcast, I said in these niggas' face, the niggas that that got the keys to the city, the DJs or whoever, the radios and all that, that's supposed to be helping the people that are helping themselves, not just taking somebody just because they're from here. We gotta mm-hmm. blow you up. But if it's people that got big buzzes, selling hella merch, selling out shows. You do your job. Mm-hmm. Your job is to break these records. And if you can't do that, then you need to get out the way. See, that's yeah. the thing. That's the thing about like other that. cities, though. Other big yeah. cities, you know, DJs break records. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's what Atlanta, DJs are. L.A., New York, uh, down here in Texas, Houston, Dallas. I mean, that's what. That's, that's the it's difference. It's been that way for decades. Do. That's the right. decades. That's the way. That's the difference between a, a, a city that's known for their music and a city that's not. Right. It's only the people that are in control of the music. So the people in Texas that are in control of the music, they do their job, and mm-hmm. Texas artists are eating, and everybody wants to come to Texas. We all want to come to Dallas. We all want to go to Houston. You know what I mean? We mm-hmm. are whatever other city here, um, Austin, for all these events. Nobody really wants to come to these other cities where people ain't doing their job. Mm-hmm. And you, you, they killing the economy. It ain't just about Nappyville or the next artist, the next artist there. It's about your whole city. Everybody want to go to Cleveland because LeBron James. He ain't that no more. I don't. I ain't never. I ain't thought about Cleveland since LeBron mm-hmm. left. Everybody <laughs> talking about Atlanta. I wanted to go to St. Louis because Nelly had us EI and uh oh in my line. I went, you I went, I went up there. You, oh yeah. It wasn't and nothing that, like that. It don't. <laughs> exactly. It, but it made you go there. But you had to go see if everybody's <laughs> on you, yeah. you wanted to come down here to Houston to hear that screw music. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. come down. I'm gonna bang screw. Man. Hey man. I you I heard come, Drake say we was getting uh, all up in that. If well, I go to Houston, draped up, dripped out, no what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all nigga want to go to Houston, man? Let me tell you what I think about. Y'all want to go to Houston? We was up at a little beach park. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, we so look, with that. if you let's think about Houston, I want to. I'm imagining as soon as I got off the plane, I want to see my trunk pop. Oh, 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 elbows oh, 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 causing oh, pain in the toilet. You're not going to see it like that every time. <laughs> but that's what my head in is telling In your mind, you think that because of the yeah, videos, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, when I get over there, I'm going to see that pop up. And I want to be sitting sideways. Them sideways, sideways, sideways yeah. all that. Horns on the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. No, no, no. They got longer with them now. You get, they yeah. getting tickets with it. Remember? We, yeah, see, they, they, they fucking it up. The yeah, police fucking police it up. Police be dope. mad about that. Come on, man. Let them 84s post, man. <laughs> so, so do you guys feel like, um, you know, uh, with, with where everything is, do you feel like uh, we're in a good spot with the music, though? Do you feel like we we making some strides? Texas. Uh, do yeah, no, on, on a whole in, yeah. in general. Oh man, yes. And and and, and another thing, um, do you want R and B back? Yeah, on the top. Man, that's my favorite shit. Ah, you niggas First wanna, of all, you niggas want slow dance. No, <laughs> let me tell you why. Can I tell you why? Ahead, tell her why. Tell her because why. Because. <laughs> rap is so fabricated and fake, bro. Everybody is lying so bad. There's so many people that ain't lying, but for the most part, they the lies are so appreciated, man, and, and it's fucking up. So you want to hear that R and B? I'd rather hear R and B. I'd rather hear shit. Nah, that well, then y'all gotta vibes. bring some new R and B. You young nigga, y'all know how to do it. Y'all, you got to, you got to I get your song. The, just the turn thing. the lights down low. Yeah. <laughs> We got songs like that. That's some of the biggest you know, songs in the middle. Turn the light down low and, you yeah. know, just, yeah, just come embrace yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen. We come got on a song just like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's you ain't doing some shit songs like that. Because we got to break. I'm going to leave it with y'all. Definitely. I'm going to leave it with you. I'm going to leave it with you. And hey, you got to turn the light down low, man. It's different now, man. You know, it's a, it's a whole different vibe. Y'all, them, yeah. niggas, them young niggas done messed it up too long. It's time to bring it back. They want it's time to get that R&B back. But you know, once the R&B comes, once the R&B comes back, the generation Society will start building up even more. We got all these babies start coming around. Oh uh, yeah, we I'm gonna have more babies. Yeah. There ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Of, we need more, more, people. more babies, black babies. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's talk about iconic films. I just want to hear about because yeah. I'm, 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 you know how we do it, our angles and all that, man. Right. Yeah. Uh, what made you get into uh, film and rock star? 
I mean, shoot, we uh got forced. He moved, yeah, pretty much. You needed it. You yeah, needed you got we, were, we were we were artists, right? Mm -hmm. And we from Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Okay. We're nobody doing videos in Indianapolis. It's the mm -hmm. racial capital of the world. We got the colors, we got the paces. That's it. Sports for the most part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't no film world. Well, no music world besides what we was doing and, and the artists around us. You know what I mean? So we had to create our own lane for the videos. So we had to shoot our own videos. After we were shooting our own videos, Rocco the Don, he seen one of the videos. He was like, hey, I want you to shoot my next video. Woo, woo, woo. So then I went down, we went down and shot his video. Shout, shout out two to chains. C Note. Shout out to C Note. Shout out to 2 Chain video. Shout out. Then that, right after that, yeah, oh man, yeah. I need one like with 2 Chains. Then right after that, then we moved to Miami. And then after we moved to Miami, then we shot everybody on that wall. Future. Yeah. Oh, about future. Everybody. Woke I shot future first Bugatti. video. Ever. We didn't do that a lot nah, of videos. Really? Yeah. yeah. We shot future first Which video. Which video yeah. was that? I think it was like Rolodex. <laughs> it was it was an old one. And tell them how much it was. <laughs> Free ninety nine almost. Yeah. No. Almost. Yeah. yeah. That's how you get your name out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I mean we, neither one of us had a name with the sign. Right. Right. So so how right, did yeah. you so how did you link with Future? Rocco. By way of Rocco. He Rocco, he okay. Yeah, he he yeah. was under Rocco. That's my dude too, yeah, boy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga cool I talked as to him hell. About, about two weeks ago. Did you? Yeah, that's my man, nigga. Man, you tell him, say, man, I went over to ECO at Boss Talk 101. He said, check your DM, nigga. You done been on pictures <laughs> with him. <laughs> I done been in the club with you. We 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 always oh, vibe man. great. Oh, yeah. I need that nigga on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, but we was at the, sure. we was at right there at that uh um at the we was in Vegas at the casino. Okay, and we hung all night. Gucci was there, but Gucci couldn't he couldn't go to the Nas party because he had said something real fly. Mm. It's the old Gucci, right, right. And it, he had said something <laughs> real fly, and yeah. it was real fly for the South, nigga. So I rode with it all yeah. the way. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. That my boy. When he said it, I said, "Yo." <laughs> I'm with you, Gucci. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was about the cause. He's like, "Man." Yeah. I think Rocco was saying something. Or one of them, somebody said something about their cars up in the. In they said something about the East Coast. Somebody mm -hmm. on the, and Gucci was like, they ain't got the red one. They ain't got the blue one. It was mm -hmm. about <laughs> talk about so, that rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah. they were loving. They just man, look, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. And y'all might not feel on this because are y'all considered East Coast? No, nah, Midwest. Nah. Midwest. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. it's a difference. In the way they treat the artists, you know what I'm saying? Like when you go look at the other platforms, uh, the, the the and I ain't, I don't want to be dirty. I ain't gonna mention their name, but they don't. The South is not showing the same type of love that they show the East Coast artists, bro, mm. or the West Coast artists. As far as what? So, just, but we have to. Uh, for me, we have to represent ourselves and where we at because we yeah. all talk a little different. Mm -hmm. We may rap a little different. But yeah. we all brothers and sisters in this game. You right, know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. I think it should be more unity. And I know it That's sounds sure. cliche, but yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it ain't like that, bro. It's I think got to be love, man. The South runs music, though. So exactly. How could you say that? No, I say that because I I think the South run music. But when you go to those platforms, those bigger platforms, uh, the platform, they're, right, they're, right. They're, yeah, they yeah, represent yeah. it in a way like the South don't run the music. Right, right. right. Go um, look them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go look. I can show them to you. I, I mean, I don't have an answer for that. Hey, Pat Poo's done been on on the Breakfast Club, but DeRo ain't, and he got a platinum platinum of music. Ah, uh, that makes. I can a lot keep of sense. going. Yeah. I can. Them. Yeah. There's one. There's one example. Maybe um, that's because all that stuff is over well, there where they at, and they got the relationships. Yeah, Boosie mm -hmm. just went up there and got uh pretty yeah. much a uh, uh, ambush on an interview. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a whole flaming something in there, sitting waiting for him. You know, like. And, and knew he didn't feel comfortable with it. Yeah. All I'm saying is, what is what yeah. is the plot behind all of that? Oh man, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> why, why would you yeah. do it? Yeah, nah. All I'm saying is, we yeah. we do stomp down, and we yeah. can be independent yeah. here, and we can't be heard because our people gonna follow us because they love us. Right, yeah. right, Just right. like y'all people follow y'all. That's yeah, why I love sure. the game so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's why I talk that talk too because I know already it's a difference. I think people gotta pick and choose too what what they go on these days, man. You can't just like the labels used to send people out. Now with this independent uh, hustle going on, like we would choose to come here on Boss Talk. Yeah. If I know, if I see what they already did to Boosie, I'm not even going to set myself up and go on there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like, Man, I'm going to tell you, we've been getting so much love from all yeah. the artists wanting to fly in and come on this show. We've yeah. had them. 
to fly from North Carolina, to yeah. fly from, to come from L.A., from Oakland, California, to be right. on Boss Talk with right. him. Sure. And Tim, as soon as I turned it on, yeah. it went crazy. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. It went crazy. Yeah. But that's why I'm glad y'all here now. I get, I, I'm solidified. I ain't had nobody mm-hmm. out in Indianapolis, right? No, yeah. we haven't. Yeah, well, uh, we do. You what you is that, 317? 317. Yeah, niggas, stop playing. I know what it's happening. I see right there, baby. Yeah. I see you. Hey, top three artists of all time, man. Dead or alive, man. Top three artists of all time. Man. You first. Hold on, hold on. Any genre. Any genre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Number one. Uh, uh, number one is Michael Jackson. I knew you was going to say that. Number Michael Jackson. Has to be Y'all Michael doing it Jackson. together now. I mean that. No, uh, only uh, together uh, if you agree with what he's saying. Number, number two. I number gotta two. go. I gotta go, Marley, man. I gotta oh. go, Bob. He doesn't agree. He don't got, he ain't gotta agree. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Okay, okay number, number three. three. Uh, sheesh, number three. How I'm gonna end this thing up? Think hard. I know, right? Man, uh, listen. Mm. Shit, I'm not going rap at all. Go I'm ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Angela Winbush, nigga, come on. You want this Angela Winbush? He's saying that nigga. Fuck. So I gotta be artist. Man, it's artist. 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 That's, artist. That's artist. very. That difficult. is super. The number three is always top, the hardest. Top three, all genres. All <laughs> genres. All decades. Of all time. Everything. Man, what? Man. Come Who on, you man. Got no man. See, that, you just froze me when you just Aye. did that. Sam and Davis Jr., I'm nigga, come saying. on. Patty <laughs> LaBelle. I'm, what you just say? <laughs> Patty LaBelle. I was, I was going to say Woo, she I go promised hard. to God I was going to say Have that. you heard anybody like her? No. And I was Ever. Ever. That in life. Because, because that's day. all me and my grandma listened to mm-hmm. for like 10 years straight. So that's your number three. I got to go. You no, I got to go. Like Patty Patty Patty. Michael Jackson. Franklin? Yes, Bob I do. Marley. And Patty LaBelle. And Patty. For Damn, sure. I like that. Number one. You say Mike. He said Mike. Number one, Mike. Number two. I got something to ask both of y'all when y'all do. You know what I'm asking. Number two. You said what? Number two. Number two. Mm. Lord. If it ain't Bob, who is it? Mm. See, I would like to put Bob right there because of the love. Well, who is it? Impact records, man. Yeah, man. Now, this all genres, anything. It could be because he's a billionaire, Jay-Z. Mm. Kanye's a billionaire. Kanye is a billionaire. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, yeah, heavy billionaire. I'm gonna say, heavy heavy. And people are gonna disagree with me all they want to. You right, Kanye. That's my nigga. And right I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you why. This man has done so much. You ain't gotta tell me. And you so ain't gotta so me. I, I agree. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, number three six billion. That's why. Number, next, number that's all you need to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Kanye. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put Bob in number three. Okay, Bob in number you three. I mean? Yours dope. Yeah. Now I gotta ask you a question. So you said Mike. You say Kanye and Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. You say Mike and you, Bob, Marley, and you say Bob Marley and you say Patti Labelle. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's dope. Up. All y'all, yeah. y'all are true musicians. Yeah. I agree with you, uh, and I agree with everybody. But Pimp C, my number I one. I think he's so gonna throw that in. Gonna let y'all know. I don't play about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just listened that today. We trying to get in Texas, man. You trying to get in that Pimp? Yeah. I told you. Yeah. I told y'all yeah. niggas. I told you. Only in Texas. Not. Only in Texas. Yeah. Only in Texas. Oh. That made you when you come to Texas. I got to listen to Pimp. Man. Oh yeah, we did. Ah. Yeah, we was listening to Pimp C, Bum B. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Up north, when we was little little niggas. See, I remember here parking full of stones. Uh, I got some. No, I still got. My, I got. You better say it or tell me something what? good. That first album was a bit too hard to swallow. Oh, we stopped man. playing. Uh, the, the thing I want to ask you is, we had a guy to come on here, and he said that Michael oh, Jackson. Lord. Uh, Chris Brown is better than Michael Jackson, and Tree Daddy just said that Listen, too. He was real high. I mean, okay. that's the kind of people I don't even respond to because now they just they reaching somewhere else. I don't yeah. like. I don't know even what's wrong with them. That's like those are those are you can't even. I asked which Michael Jackson. You know, that's about four phases. It five don't, phases. Just, it don't <laughs> matter. It don't matter. Yeah. It was one, two, three, ABC <laughs> Jackson. Yeah. Which one are you talking about? It's, a, it's Listen, phases, right? <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah, that, that's is definitely many phases, but all of those phases, he's untouchable. Untouchable. Mm-hmm. He's the best at every phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, what man. child star was doing what he was doing? No. What teenager did what no. he did? Chris Brown did his thing with running and all that, but he didn't do what Chris Michael Brown, Jackson don't did. Don't get me wrong, Chris Brown, he was a bad motherfucker. Bro, okay? that like, has nothing to do. Chris Michael. Brown could be sitting right here and he gonna say the same. He gonna that's say right, shit. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, hey, man. it ain't got nothing to do with him. He ain't. Everybody know what Chris Brown is, yeah. man. Shit. Well, I, I I can say this, brother, man. I appreciate y'all for coming on Boss Talk yeah. One Hundred One. Appreciate you. Questions. Oh, go ahead. Oh, well, I just I, we gonna we finna wind it down. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, we just got warmed up. No, he, he just got his drink going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, couple things. How do you think? Cause you know Atlanta. When everybody think about the music industry, they think about Atlanta. 
Yeah. How can we get each of our cities to be like a, an Atlanta where we have everything we need in that city, the videographer, the um, photographers, the musician, mm. I mean, producers, every, instead of coming out of Good. our city. In Atlanta. The only thing we would come out to do is collab. Yeah. But that's, in Atlanta, everybody don't just rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got people that's like, if I know that he's good at rap, I'm going to say, I'm going to help push it. You know what I mean? In certain cities, everybody see you get a little shine. They be like, wait a minute. I, I, I rap too. I rap too. You know what I mean? Instead, he's going to be good <laughs> with the camera. You know what I mean? Or, or, or why, why wouldn't he just be the manager and the cameraman if that's what he's good at and he mm -hmm. ain't really good at rap? Everybody got to pick what they good at. You know how to mm -hmm. talk. So you might be like, yo, I'm going to go talk for y'all. I'm going to get that record played everywhere. But instead, you're like, well, nigga, I'm a rap. I'm knucking and bucking to the club. Yeah. <laughs> but you might, you might just yeah. be good at what you're good at. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody should just play be your good position. At, play your exactly. position, and, and you're going to win the game. And Atlanta do that. Yeah, That's they right. do it they, very they well. Stick together. What they I mean, do. young guys, too, that feel like, bro, they ain't trying to be. I got something coming rap. next week yeah. from Atlanta. I just We just yeah. talked to them today. They want to be on Boss Talk. Mm, yeah. I done had a few fly in. I'm telling you, they come. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Boss Talk for the blow up on y'all. I, mean, I, mean, I promise. You know? It's like, dang, how they just, I know them oh, guys. Oh I, I was God. on that show. Hey, man, let me in. I was like, <laughs> let him in. <laughs> <laughs> my, la my last question. Go ahead. Nah, it's definitely gonna okay, go up. R. Kelly. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Man, so, he, I'm, when you never mind. Let her go talk. ahead. Go nah, ahead. No, go you ahead. Say go ahead. You let her talk. <laughs> no, when you think about um, the case that's against him and mm. all the females, because my point of view on stuff like that is the fact that the parents, uh, you know mm. what I mean? The parents took these kids, dropped them off over there. They knew what was going on. All of this could have been stopped. Like, why are you taking your kids to this grown man house? Yes, he's popular and studio. you want to get your studio, whatever. You want to get them known. You know what might happen. You have My daughter will stay home. No, I don't care about it. We're going to figure out a different way of how to get, you know, I'm going to be there with you every single step of the way. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be over here by yourself. What do you think about, do you think the parents should be charged for, the, for all of this? They should definitely be held accountable, for sure. Because, I mean... <clears throat> the kids didn't walk over there. You know what I mean? And he, al he almost made my list. All I'm I saying is, listen, he's bro. He's a great, he is yeah. a great If you're going to say R&B King. Man, listen, he it's, almost it's made R. my Kelly. top three. I, ain't gonna I know y'all yeah. mad about it. Y'all mad. No, people scared to, to say it. People scared mad. to put him as a top right, anything right, right. because you, they're scared to be looked at it in a certain I, way. I, I, right, I don't yeah. worry about that. Yeah. All I'm telling you is when it comes to the music, yeah. uh, I decided uh, all those songs, bro, I, you can't take it away from legendary. Him. Hey, bro, you can't. Yeah. What you gonna do? He wrote for Michael. Legendary, and they said he couldn't write. I don't know how he done it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's, it, I'm just telling you, he's some it, it, his his music. Oh, we gonna take it out of radio. You're not taking it out of my radio. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Now, what happened? It happened, and I hate to say it. Um, ain't nothing we can go back to do to change what happened during the time that happened. And we don't know what the truth is to everything that happened either. Right. I think over time, people have, have fabricated certain things, and some things may have been worse than others, but mm -hmm. I guarantee you it ain't the truth. Same like Bill right. Cosby. It ain't the truth. And Bill Cosby is out You're right now. You're not dealing with the truth I mean, right now. I don't, You're dealing with a truth <laughs> that people want to make their truth. Right. And exactly. they're going to put it on you. Bill Cosby... Yeah, uh, come on. They wanted to make how, him. An, how did it what go is, from one to, what is he? to sixty? Bro, this is like, biased. Damn, I'm gonna tell you something. That courtroom yeah, is not for people of color. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. Y'all don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. <laughs> it's go up in there, then the go on up in there and see what happened. You yeah. go. Yeah. Them we scales ain't like that for no reason. Uh -uh. Yeah. You know, see them scales, they sit <laughs> yeah. like that all yeah. over the country. Right. Yeah. They not even. They not balanced for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> I know y'all hey man I don't know how we got in there thank you very much Miss Jamaica for pushing us over into that world yeah. hey man we, we love y'all guys man love uh, truly rock star is yeah. going down man anytime y'all in Texas y'all know we gotta link up for yeah. sure for you know sure. what I'm saying thank y'all for coming on Boss Talk 101 Cheers, we appreciate it already it's been another great segment of yeah. Boss Talk 101 and we All right. have